Welcome back, coin collectors and treasure hunters. In today's video, we're diving deep into the story of one of the most extraordinary coins in U.S. history, the 1944 D. Mint Mark Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny. And you won't believe this, its current market value is an astonishing $1.8 million. But before we talk about what makes this penny worth so much, let's take a trip back to 1944, a time when the world was in turmoil, World War II was raging, and the U.S. was playing a crucial role. During this time, the production of coins, especially the iconic Lincoln Wheat Penny, was directly impacted by the war effort. In 1943, the United States was in the middle of the Second World War, and to save copper for wartime materials, the U.S. Mint decided to produce pennies made of steel. These steel pennies, often called asterisk steelies asterisk, were issued with a zinc coating to prevent rusting. However, steel pennies weren't well received, as they were easily confused with dimes and had a tendency to corrode. As the war effort slowed down in 1944, copper became more available again, and the mint returned to producing pennies made from bronze, a mixture of copper, zinc, and tin. Now, the majority of 1944 pennies were made of this bronze composition. But there's one specific variant that makes coin collectors go wild, the 1944 Dewey penny, minted in Denver, which has become one of the most valuable coins ever minted in the U.S. So, what makes the 1944 D. Wheat penny worth an eye-popping $1.8 million? Let's break it down. A bar graph showing the declining availability of certain coins over time. Asterisk. The 1944 D. penny is extremely rare because of a minting mistake. While most 1944 pennies were made from copper, a very small number of pennies were accidentally struck on leftover steel planchets from 1943. These rare errors were only discovered many years later making them highly sought after by collectors. Side-by-side -side comparison of a steel penny and a bronze penny, pointing out the differences. Asterisk. Even though copper had been reinstated as the standard material for pennies in 1944, a few leftover steel planchets from 1943 were mistakenly used in the Denver Mint to strike some of the 1944 Dewey pennies. These steel planchet pennies are exceedingly rare. Only a handful of them have ever been found. Grading scale from poor to mint state, zooming in on a mint state example. Asterisk. Another factor that adds to the 1944 Dewey penny's value is its condition. Coins that have been well preserved over the decades, especially those graded mint state, MS65, or higher by professional coin graders, can fetch astronomical prices at auction. The coin's condition affects its value dramatically, and the higher the grade, the rarer it is. In 2023, a stunning 1944 D. Lincoln Wheat penny sold at auction for an incredible $1.8 million. This penny was not only rare due to its composition, but it was also in immaculate condition, pushing its value to record-breaking heights. Visual, auctioneer's hammer coming down, crowd applauding, and a coin collector celebrating. Why such a high price? Well, a few factors came into play, rarity, demand, and of course, the condition of the coin. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that combine all three of these elements, and this 1944 D penny ticked all the boxes. Now you might be wondering, do I have one of these rare pennies in my pocket or collection? Here's how you can identify a 1944 D wee penny that could be worth a fortune. Highlighting the D mint mark on the coin's obverse side, under the date 1944, asterisk. The first thing to look for is the mint mark. A D located just below the year indicates that it was minted in Denver. This is crucial since only Denver minted 1944 pennies struck on steel planchets are considered this rare. Penny being tested with a magnet, asterisk, because the rare 1944 D penny was struck on leftover steel planchets. It will stick to a magnet, just like the steel pennies of 1943. If your 1944 D penny is magnetic, you could be in for a huge payday. Sending a coin to be graded, then receiving it back in a protective case with a grade, asterisk. Finally, if you believe you found one, send it to a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. They'll assess its authenticity and give it a grade, which can significantly impact its value. So, let's say you found a 1944 Dewey penny. What now? How can you turn that rare find into cash? Here are some tips on how to sell your rare coin. Before selling, you'll need to have the coin authenticated and graded. This will give you an accurate sense of its condition and value. Many rare coins are sold through major auction houses like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers, but you can also consider online platforms like eBay or specialized coin marketplaces. Prices for rare coins can fluctuate, 
so it's important to be aware of current market trends. This will help you set a competitive price or determine the right time to sell. And there you have it, the fascinating story behind the rare and highly valuable 1944 D Mint Mark Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny that could be worth a staggering $1.8 million. If you enjoyed learning about this rare coin, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video on more incredible coin discoveries. Who knows? You might have a treasure hiding in your pocket change. Thanks for watching, and happy collecting!